can call me mama. You are going to marry my son, Grande. I'm what? We'll be right back with the padre. I love Cornelius. This is what happens every time in these movies. You fall in love with this man you met last night. Doesn't anybody care what I think? No. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by 7-Eleven. After the day I've had, I could really use a Slurpee. Some candy. I don't know what's in them. Water, red 40, yellow number five. I don't know, but shit tastes good. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And Brooke. Thanks so much for tuning in to this brand spanking new delicioso episode of Two Freckled Friends. If you enjoy 7-Eleven Slurpees as much as we do, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on TFF. This week, we're watching something once again. I've never seen it beginning to end. I've only seen very small clips and I have a feeling Brooke has seen this movie more than once sometime during her childhood. Brooke, why don't you tell everyone what we're watching this week? We're watching 1994 Thumbelina. I don't know who made this movie. I didn't actually even want to watch this movie as a kid. I'm looking at the, the trailer image and I'm already re-annoyed. Her hair bothered me too with the little hair sprigs coming out. 1994 Thumbelina, Thumbelina, woo woo woo. Oh, it's gonna be one of those episodes, isn't it? I'm looking at this intro pic and I'm not happy. But you know what? We do it for you, just for you. Everything If you're brand new to the channel, what we're gonna do is Brooke and I are going to watch Thumbelina. We will give our own individual thoughts and from those thoughts, we will provide this movie with its official freckle score. So without further ado, the 1994 animated by somebody, childhood family classic, Thumbelina. Let's roll it! Who made this? I don't know who made this. Warner Brothers distributed it and it was a box office bomb. Well, <laughs> so we got another time. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm in pain. Those are pain. Verify your login so we can get this over with. I, now I'm It's upset. verified. Can I watch it now? Okay, it's on my TV. Did it, did the payment go through? I'm so confused. It said $3.99. It's not letting me watch it, but I paid my $4. So are we pressing play together or do you yes, want to press, press play? Yes, press play. Okay. Press play. Uh, I have 20th Century Fox. Oh, it is 20th Century Fox. Interesting. This is a lot. Don, Don Blue Blue. presents. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just go ahead. It's automatically starting with a two out of five <laughs> freckles for it that does. alone. It really does actually though. It does start off at a two. Like you have to find your way and build yourself <laughs> from a two. Oh, Charo. Charo, yeah, do you remember Char Charo? Carol Channing. Can Carol Channing and Charo save this shit? Barry Manilow? Someone's spending money. This looks like it was made in 1983. I'm upset. Not one word spoken, I'm upset. Like the Fox and the Hound has better animation. And that was what, 70 something? Look at that, a fox and a hound playing together. You have nothing to say right now? Me? I noticed it though. When you follow your heart, welcome to Paris City of Love. I am Jacquemo, swallow extraordinaire. Y'all sure to do impossible things. Well, at least I'm getting a song in the first five minutes. Can I open this Barbie doll? Follow your heart and nothing is impossible. Sure to do impossible things. I love the sound of my voice. Obviously. <laughs> 
Is that big old feet? Skinny legs. These are stories about the people with impossible problems. The story of Thumbelina. Once upon a time, there was a lonely woman who longed to have a child to call her own. A good witch who gave her a tiny barley corn. Plant it in a flower pot, she says, and see what happens. Definitely ripping off Beauty and the Beast with this intro here. And offered him a single rose in return for shelter. What a pretty flower. That's what I'm saying, look at this rose. But why is the rose all wrinkly? Charlotte's Web is better animated than this. <laughs> So hold on, mommy prayed, she prayed over a rose, and then the daughter sprang from the seed in the in the flower? What is wrong with this dog? With a girl no bigger than a bumblebee. We don't know where she's from or how she came to be. Happy was the day she came. Bumbelina, Bumbelina. <laughs> what the hell am I watching? She's making things up. Don not learn anything from Rockadoodle? Ah, this is flipping garbage. <laughs> You're <a> too <laughs> soup. <laughs> I damn you two. Who would believe the wonder of the world I see? Who keeps giving this man lots of money to make trash animated film surprise? Bumbelina! Oh, Cinderella, look at that! Breakfast is served. <laughs> oh, Snow White, look at them gooseberry pies! So hold on, how did the mama get her? I'm gonna ask you a question, don't lie to me, all right? Uh-huh. Are you gonna make it to the end of this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know. They are little. Just like me! These are fairies, and fairies have wings, so they can fly. And here, the fairy prince- How is she able to live? Wedding. I'm confused how she wasn't a baby for she just came out as- a, How old is she? Like, her heart has to be the size of a fingernail. Like, how is it pumping blood? Two people are about the same size. I wish I were big. Oh no, Thumbelina. Don't ever wish to be anything but what you are. She clearly don't have no man, so she couldn't go to like the orphanage and pick up a kid. What about this child? You don't want Annie. He's a drunk. And you also notice when Thumbelina was born, she already had clothes on. I'm confused. I know she ain't putting that little crib. Sleep tight. I want to look at the pictures while I go to sleep. She gonna sleep on top of the book? Thumbelina, you take good care of her hero. She ain't my child. Why is his mustache so long? And the color of a french fry. I know this song. We've had three songs in less than 10 minutes. You complain when there's not enough songs, so here you go. Even though Mulan wasn't out yet, this is giving, uh, what's that Christina Aguilar song, When Will My Reflection My Reflection? Show? When will at me I'll find my rainbow. I hear the groove I love a good ballad too Can you hear me sing your song Song's getting you, huh? Song's a good song. Is it enough to save this film? Probably not. And it's a short song too. You know I don't like 60 and 90 second songs. I wonder if there really are such things as fairies. Are you gonna make it? This <laughs> I'm opening a Barbie doll right now, so. Oh, okay, that's kind of pretty. That's very Fern Gully-esque. Don't look now, dear husband. Our son is missing again. I think he feels a bit silly riding that white butterfly we gave him. 
What the hell did you just say? It doesn't quite make the right impression on the young ladies. He sounds similar to King oh, Triton. Oh, really? I'm concerned about Ariel. Have you noticed she's been acting peculiar lately? We've begun the golding of the leaves. Just hope he's not out buzzing the veils on that wretched bumblebee. Hello. What a beautiful voice. Oh, you have to go now? May I cut in? No, back up. I didn't mean to frighten you. I was looking up the voice of the King Fairy. Apparently, that's the same voice actor as King Triton in Little Mermaid. This little Peter Pan as... Well, say something, will you? Shh! You're one of them! I thought I was the only one my size in the whole world! You are. Oh, hero? No. My name is Thumbelina. How do you do, sir? <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that. I'm... Cornelius. <laughs> well, that's a funny name. It is. Tell me about the... You getting handsy, sir. Is there a, a prince? He must be terribly handsome. He is. I would love to meet the prince. Oh, I'll tell him. You got a strong jaw? Look at that! She Both was born two days ago. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, Busby, my bumble. He's amazing! Would you like to go for a spin? It's a school night. She got school in the morning. Oh, I wish I had wings. Maybe someday you will. What is happening? <laughs> Let me be Another your song? They're trying to do like their own version of a whole new world. me lift you high above are you gonna make it through this no i told i'm opening my barbie doll somebody call barry manilow i need to have a talk with him <laughs> why do we need a swan when we've got a flying bumblebee spraying pollen everywhere Die with me i will be your She's getting married to Fairy Prince. Hi, Mama. Why, why are they talking about marriage? She's they a just infant. Met. She was just created. Will be my wings. Oh, no. What's the plot? Like, what's the problem? And why does this prince have jaundice? He really does. I'm so happy you mentioned it too, because I was going to say it earlier. Here's another CGI moment. Those lily pads? Oh, it's rough. What is this frog doing? That frog high as hell. Let me be your This voice is fantastic. I love her. They gave Charo her hair and titties. Oh, Thumbelina. Something happened to me tonight. Something I never want to forget. You got pollen everywhere. <laughs> forget me nots. Oh, I'll never forget you. Never. It was this a wedding ring? Yeah, he put it on a ring finger. Mother? That's the queen of the fairies, my mother. Can I see you tomorrow? Your mother? You are, are the, tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Ah! Oh, she caught herself. Oh, did you see that, Cookie Lily? Yeah, did I'm watching it. That? I'm watching it. Did you see that? I will, Prince Cornelius. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh-huh. You selfish thumba -ho. I'll be back for you in the morning. Wait here. You won't forget to come back. I promise. Oh, Whoa! He done tried to kiss four times? <sighs> Cornelius. So she just completely skipped the infant age. Now she thinks Cornelius sounds hot. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> mm. What is this? Is this Charo? Gotcha. Oh, Hero! <laughs> what is everybody's motive? I talk! <laughs> <laughs> Hero, they're gonna put you out the pasture for real. You had one job. These people have just one job and they didn't get it right. Thumbelina! Oh, oh. Lord, he come with gifts? Exactly. That's what the rest of y'all need to do. And he's just a fairy. Thumbelina, it's me. Where are you? Aww, puppy. Weird looking puppy. What happened? She was stolen away? Out the window? Uh, a 
Toad? Good dog. I'll find her. Really? <sighs> Buenos dias. I hope you sleep very, very good. We are the very happy family singers de España. My son. Mozo, gringo, and grande. We are very rich and famous. I bring you here to become famous singer like me. Oh, goodbye. Ah! Mama proud. When you are a star, she make big fiesta. Big, 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 very big. Big? And important. How you gonna do my girl Charles like this? They sure this? did. This is so disrespectful. Do you know how to do these things? Like you will have to do these things. Don't marry the prince. This is super sexual for children. You are a star. I suppose. We are the singer de España, the original cast, and there hasn't been a time we haven't played. We get on, we get off, we get paid. Sing! Could you say that a little slower? Wow. We don't do ballads. Ow! Get me the fuck off this boat. We got you, got you, got you all the way. Well, she had to do it. Come on the road, I'm famous, you will get. <laughs> Oh, now she's conga. So she was in love with the prince. Now she's doing the conga. Weak-willed and easily influenced. My, my heart. We can keep the money she earns in the family. They really like me. You can call me mama. You are going to marry my son, Grande. I'm what? We'll be right back with the padre. I love Cornelius. This is what happens every time in these movies. You fall in love with this man you met last night. Yeah. No. We sang again. Oh, little one. Are you having a bad day? I was sleeping on my windowsill, uh -huh. waiting for Prince Cornelius to come back, but I was stolen away by Mrs. Toad. Toy Toad, I am Shakimo. How can I be of service to you? Fly me back home. I must get off this Great. lily pad. Nothing is impossible. What? Okay, that works. Well, that was easy. Just reach the shore before those toads come back. Who you were dancing with. What the fuck? Can you fly me back home? I am sleeping! Oh, oh, White woman in distress. All hands on deck. Oh. <laughs> She's that heavy, bro. Thumbelina. Oh. Look, Mama. She's breaking up. These are the jitterbox. Are you really gonna marry the fairy prince? He will call for me at my house. If only I could find my way home. Wearing the engagement ring. Nobody will hurt your thumbelina. She's five days old. Do you love the prince? Yes. Follow your heart. It will lead you home. I I'm trying to think of something to eat. Bring him home to you. Nothing. Is impossible. Cue us all. Yep. You're sure to do impossible things. Boo. This is annoying the crap out of me. What is wrong with your glasses? Trust your ticker. Get there quicker. You are going home. Your mother is waiting. Get up. You're sure to do impossible things. Bon voyage, I will find the prince. I'm going home. Oh, look at this animation. Oh, God. Kidnapped, Mother. She's been kidnapped. You're joking. Please delay the winter frost. I need time to find Thumbelina. I'll be back. Cornelius! Where is the fairy army? We can't delay the frost for more than a day. How many plot holes? I'm uninvested. Whoa, everybody. Thumbelina give you the slip. Everybody laugh at you. Hey, go get Thumbelina. Bring her back. She don't want you. When has that stopped a man? Ah! 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 What, what the, the hell world? is that? Beatles my name and Razzmatazz is my game. Is that Gilbert Godfrey? Everything okay? <laughs> I'm not your toots. You are beautiful, Miss Thumbelina, and I'm going home. Relax, take a load off. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Beatles. Mm -hmm. How can I stop? I'm crazy about you, Toots. Ooh, delicious. I am. What the fuck? Don't talk. Sing. Sing to me. Can you fly me up there? 
From the treetops, I could see my house. I'll sing for you. You'll sing at the Beetle Ball. We are gonna be the talk of the town. What is happening? Mom, let's get help. I'm playing with my Barbie doll. This is like Rockadoodle when they went to fucking Reno. Old Santa Claire may have stopped crowing, but he hadn't stopped using that voice there. Let me be your rooster. Ladies and gentlemen, Thumbelina! What is happening? <laughs> and how to cheer! <laughs> you beautiful baby! Oh, that's Thumbelina? Brooke, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> What? What the fuck was that? Hurry up! Bumbelina needs help! One of you say Dumbelina needs help? The beetle took her flew way up there. We see about this beetle. Why? What is the matter, Dumbelina? Take me home. And the beetle says I'm ugly. You love the beetle? No. Good riddance to the beetle. And good riddance to the toad. I'm going home. Oh, we must sleep. Tomorrow is a new day. Again, the music where Alfalfa's being chased. Damn, you right. I am looking for the Vale of the Fairies. Now, look, where was I? What? I must hurry to find the fairy prince. The Melina, where are you? Around yonder. Are you the fairy prince? I am. The beetle took her away. She's out there? In that? I've got to find her. Winter's almost here. My father can't hold back the frost much longer. How far are we in the movie? Not far enough. Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. I don't know where she is. She's not my type. I don't like ugly. <laughs> I hear that she loves the fairy prince. <laughs> fairy prince! Set up a trap for the girl, using him as the bait. You go, captured prince. My wings! You took my wings! You can't do that! All right! I'll nab the prince. Your heart is so cold. Um, uh, winter came quick. Winter! Winter is here. Away. Now I have to walk to find the prince. Hey, Beetle, this guy's the prince. How did y'all magically find him? You pick him up. Let's get out of this stinking weather before we statistics. What kind of what kind of conversation can you have with a toad? All of her animal friends, none of them like use their fur to make her a coat or anything. How is she not already dead? Giacomo was wrong. Never find my way home. Do you feel bad that she's lost? Cause I sure as hell don't. I am finger combing my Barbie doll's hair. Who is this man that decides this? 
You can be un anything, yes. can't you? Uh, undress. <laughs> Where am I? I'm Miss Fieldmouse, and we are snug and safe underground. Huh? Did you really think you could survive the winter in that old shoe? I'm afraid you'll just have to wait here till spring, Thumbelina. You were engaged to the fairy prince, Cornelius, I believe. Almost. Oh, that is so sad. He was found stone cold frozen dead in the snow. <gasps> Cornelius? Oh, no. That is so sad. Oh, it's not true. Forgive me. Sometimes I just blurt things out without thinking. Hold on, what happened? We'll take these corn cakes to Mr. Mole. Is it true that you have a beautiful voice? I know this! Has anyone else read what Lady Whistledown has written of late? Lady Whistledown has made her opinion of our dear sister's fortunes quite clear. You must sing for Mr. Mole. He loves sweet things. Cornelius was looking for me. That's what must have happened. Afternoon, Mr. Mole. Oh, yes. Meet a new friend of mine, Thumbelina. We brought some corn cakes for you. Look at you. Thumbelina, tell Mr. Mole a story. You know good and well you can't trust that hoe. Once there was the sun. She gullible as shit, ain't she? And then what? Although it's dark December, Let me go find a Barbie brush. Dreadful thing the sun. As I was out for my early morning stroll, extraordinary thing in my tongue. <gasps> my dear, dear friend. How'd he die? What happened? Miss Fieldmouse, could I have a word with you? I have been meaning to take a wife for some time now. How many rings he got? Persuade Miss Thumbelina to be my wife. I will reward you handsomely. I will. I hear your heart. You're not dead, no. Giacomo, I'll come back tonight. Forget the prince, all right? I know where Thumbelina is right now. She's buried alive with the mole. We go rescue Thumbelina from the mole. Why don't you just go home and marry a toad? You ever think about that? We've got the fairy prince. We've got to help him. Who are these random kids? Like, why do they, why are they involved? How could I possibly marry Mr. Mole? I don't love him. Marrying for love is a foolish thing to do, dearie. Marry the mole. Love won't pay the mortgage. Marry the mole. Bellina, your brain's so itty bitty. Damn. Take my advice, I'll bring the rice. Her song's actually kind of fun. Marry that. Oh, L-E. I want the shoes. It's cheap shoes. The shoes don't even go all the way on no more. Please be warm, dear friend. Can you get the thorn out? I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. There's no place in this big world for little people. Mary the Prince. Giacomo, you're awake. Ah. There. I will find him! Stop! Stop it, Chocomo! Oh, 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 dear. Oh, Lord. I faintly oh, remember this hair. Let me be your own. Oh, it's in her mind. Okay. I do. Anything. Thumbelina. Oh, I'll never forget you. Never. Never. I cannot marry Mr. Mole. I don't love him. <laughs> you! I marry her. Thumbelina. <laughs> we meet at last, Mr. Toad. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck you been? I find the veil of the fairies. We go find the fairy prince. Ah, we are here. We are here. It just looks like a patch of ordinary weeds. You will be my wings. You will be my only love. And I'll never let you fall. Cornelius, you're alive. Will you marry me? I will. We are a 
officially closed. They lived happily ever after. Let's give it a freckle scar! Alrighty, it is time for Brooke and I to give Thumbelina its official freckle score. I know, majority, this movie I was playing with the Barbie doll. That kept me sane. If I did not have that Barbie doll, I would have been up maneuvering around doing 30 other things. I have no idea what happened during that hour and 20 minutes. This movie started and there was no problem. The problem started after she met this man and she decided at a week old, Old, that she was gonna marry this cat. They were basically teaching young girls of our generation that all you have to look forward to in life is getting married. The only purpose of this movie. In between not finding a husband, you can do a little bit of show business. So many plot holes that I don't have the energy to name all of them. Thank God. I'm more invested in the plot of Rockadoodle. There were, Allie, why are you yawning? I swear it's not intentionally. I swear it's not. All of the sex in this movie. How, how was this okay to be, this is rated G. There is G. That is not a G movie. This got sequels and that there are other Thumbelina movies that I had to go and cycle through in order to find this shit. We ain't watching that shit, not on this channel. One, one freckle. One freckle. I'm having moments of humility because I'm realizing how great of a childhood I had when it came to the content I watched in my house. Watching Thumbelina, as we talked about earlier from Jump, once we saw the picture, the promotion picture that we had up and realized that it was a part of the unfortunately trash curated Don Bluth collection, I knew we were in for a long night. It was trash. Thumbelina is a prime example of you cannot pay your way to quality. You cherry pick the talent, but if the script is trash, it's trash. If I had watched this as a child, I would have fallen asleep through it. I would have said return to sender. Like my fellow freckle here, it's a one. One out of five freckles. I hate you so much right now. Take this tub of I can't believe it's not butter and throw it in the fucking gutter next to Thumbelina's old ass mother trash. Thanks so much for tuning into this latest episode of Two Freckled Friends. Drop in the comments your thoughts on Thumbelina. Do you agree with our score? We don't care if you team do Team Thumbelina. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes right here on Two Freckled Friends. We need to go through our list, and if there are any more Don Bluth films, we're not watching them this year. I can't. You don't want Disney to always win. You really don't. No, I don't. You want, no, you I want don't. the underdog to actually rise above. And in this shit, it's not happening. But teeth, I have something to say about teeth. Teeth have two reasons for being. One of them is for smiling, and the other one is for biting. So, you know, when you're designing a mean character, usually what you have to do is you have to add hair. It's all brewy. You have to make them frown all the time. Okay, and then you have to also look like they could eat you alive. And that's the prerequisite.